Are you getting a bit tired of that huge gut? Are you becoming increasingly lazy, fat? Let's see, exercise, improve your fitness? Or sit down with junk food and watch your favorite evening television show? What would you do? We all want to keep our bodies young and healthy so that we can live long, happy, and fulfilling lives. There is one simple thing you can do every day to help you deflect those health problems and protect your body from damage and deterioration. Exercise. Exercise plays a major role in protecting your health in your life. So lack of exercise is harmful to your, our health and we must take full advantages of the exercising. We're all in need of exercise. You'll agree that exercise is beneficial. However, I'm not so sure all of us are actually exercising. I would like to tell you then, not how to exercise, but to persuade you to go out and get some exercise. Cardiovascular disease is the nation's leading cause of death and is caused by inactivity. National Heart Association of Malaysia has stated that cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death globally. More people die annually from this than from any other disease. According to the World Health Organization, cardiovascular disease causes 12 million deaths in the world each year. Cardiovascular disease is the class of disease that involves the heart or blood vessels. A stroke happens when a blood vessel that feeds the brain gets blocked, usually from a blood clot. When the blood supply to a part of the brain is shut off, brain cells will die. The result will be the inability to carry out some of the previous functions as before, like walking or talking. And some of them are likely to cause uncontrolled hypertension. Some effects of stroke are permanent if too many brain cells die after a stroke, due to lack of blood and oxygen to the brain. Excess fat, also caused by inactivity, leads to a higher incidence of heart disease. One of the main causes of heart disease is a thickening and hardening of the inside walls of the arteries. This occurs when a fatty substance called plaque, which is made up of fat, cholesterol, or calcium, builds up on the artery walls, causing them to narrow so that less blood can flow to the heart muscle. This then causes clots to form and block the arteries. Data from the Ministry of Health show that death due to heart disease is one and a half times higher than that of cancer. Those who are overweight are more likely to develop heart disease and stroke, even if they have no other risk factors. Obesity has a negative influence on blood pressure and cholesterol, and may lead to diabetes. And of course, one of the reasons for obesity is inactivity. Younger, young adults are not as, health, as healthy as we often lead it to believe. We are on the threshold of decline as our level of activity drops. There's a lot of reasons young adults get for inactivity, like I not have time to exercise for 30 minutes a day because I have a lot of tasks and assignments to do. Exercise for people must come from within, but statistically that hasn't been happening. This point becomes increasingly significant as we realize that this stage in people's lives is a primary force in determining their future behavior. Inactivity at a younger age may lead to inactivity later. People's choice today will be affected for coming years. By being inactive now, we are getting ourselves into a route of being inactive. This route can be avoided, but it is difficult. From time to time, it will decrease your energy, build up stress and frustration, you will be depressed, have a bad mood, and a bad body. Then, if you have obesity, that decreases self-esteem and your level of confidence and can cause more serious disease. If you're not exercising, you're putting yourself at a risk for developing a Series of a serious number of health conditions. Exercise is not a large investment, but the benefits are very high, so we should all exercise to take advantage of this. Exercise benefits every part of the body, including the mind. It will cause the body to produce endorphins, which are chemicals that can help a person to feel more peaceful and happy. Exercise can help some people sleep better, also can help some people have, who have mild depression, and low self-esteem. It will help you look better. People who exercise burn more calories and look healthier than those who don't. Exercise can help a person age well. This may not seem important now, but your body will thank you later. Women are especially prone to a condition called osteoporosis, which is a weakening of the bones as they get older. 
Regular exercise can protect your heart, keep blood pressure and cholesterol levels healthy, maintain a healthy body weight, and protect against diabetes. All of these issues are risk factors for suffering a stroke. So exercise also helps against, to protect against stroke. Exercise also helps protect against depression and helps you better manage stress. Any sport distracts you because it can help you think, help you to not think about sport, school, friends, problems, among other things. It brings you time to think about yourself and no one else. It helps you keep your mind busy and to avoid dangerous habits like drugs. So in conclusion, we should all get into a habit of exercising regularly right now. If all of us now begin a routine of staying in shape, keeping in mind that it will make us healthier, give us a better state of mind and body, we can make the future years of our lives more rewarding. This is the best medicine any doctor can possibly prescribe. I hope I have encouraged you to become more physically active today and beyond. Your quality of life depends on it.